In this video, we present the solution to question number five for practice exam number one for math 1210. And we're asked which of the following functions are odd. Remember, a function is odd if its graph is symmetric with respect to the origin. Odd functions also have the property that f of negative x is equal to negative f of x. And so that's algebraic test is the litmus test we're going to use to decide if these functions are odd or not. Now, do be aware that this question is asking for odd functions. Um, it could very well be swapped on your version of the test that will be asking for an even function. Even functions are those functions which are symmetric with respect to the y-axis. They have the algebraic property that f of negative x is equal to f of x. Now, like I said, on this question, we're looking for odd functions. So we're just going to focus on the odd case. But the way you test it's the same. Whether they ask you even or odd, what you're going to compute is f of negative x. If you can factor a negative sign out of everything, that means the function's odd. If the negative sign ultimately disappears then it was even, and if neither of those two cases happens, then we'd say neither, okay? So we're gonna have to test these one by one, so it's three questions for the price of one. So if we look at the first function, f of negative x, we're gonna end up with negative x to the fifth minus negative x, like so, for which if you take a negative number to an odd power, so like negative one to the fifth power, that's the same thing as just negative one. Um, negative 1 to an even power will always be positive. Negative 1 to an odd power will always be negative. And so this expression becomes negative x to the fifth. And we get plus x right here, for which that is not f of x, right? So notice this is not an even function. On the other hand, if we factor out a negative sign, this will give us x to the fifth minus x, which x to the fifth minus x, that is f of x. This is negative f of x. And so this is indicative that f is in fact an odd function. So we, we wanna keep that here. If we look at g of x, g of x right here, I guess we need to look at g of negative x. We're going to get negative x to the fourth minus one, which like I said a moment ago, if you take a negative number to an even power, that actually will give you a positive. So this becomes x to the fourth minus one, which is the same thing as g of x. This actually indicates to us that g is an even function. We're not looking for even functions. So we're gonna remove g of x from consideration. So the final one is h of x here. We're gonna look at h of negative x. This will give us negative x over negative x squared plus one, for which on the top, you just leave it as negative x. On the bottom, you have a negative x squared, which will become a positive x squared. And so notice you can actually factor the negative sign out in front of everything. So you get x over x squared plus one. And this then looks like negative h of x. And this indicates to us that our function is in fact odd. So it turned out f and h were odd functions, which then leads to the correct answer being e. Now, I want to be very careful in this one. Like, the reason we call these things even and odds is because for polynomials, if all of the powers are odd, it'll be an odd function. If all of the powers are even, then it'll be an even function. And that's where we get these names even and odd functions. But that's only if we talk about polynomial functions. If you talk about a rational function, you'll notice that you have an odd power right here and you have even powers right here. There's a mix match, right? You have even powers and odd powers. And this turned out to be an odd function because while the negative sign on the numerator stuck around, all the negative signs in the denominator disappeared. And so the net effect was you had a factor of negative one in your side of your ratio. So it gets a little bit more complicated just using powers to recognize even an odd symmetry in functions. That's why it's best to use the algebraic test right here. Just look at h of negative x or g of negative x and simplify the expression. If you can do that, this problem will be no problem for you whatsoever.